what should be the preparation strategy for someone who is uh, repeating cat who is taking cat for the second or the third or fourth time and so very clearly uh, you need to see where your cap is fine i'm not saying what subject what topic are fundamentals weak are uh, is the drill weak or is the mock missing the mock component what mock side is that missing uh, as a rule of thumb if you've got less than 85th percentile there is a very decent chance that you've got to start from reinforcing fundamentals there are quite a few who are very good at fundamentals and still end up with 80th percentile that's all right that can happen but if you've got sub 80 or sub 85 there's a chance that some fundamentals need reinforcing so don't bypass that don't think the entire game is about speed when some basics are missing and so you've got to sit together and say am i able to understand all the questions and i'm a little slow in in cracking it or i do what i get really quickly but i have gap areas if you have gap areas reinforce fundamentals if you have speed issues drill away to glory you need to power away and say i'm going to solve 2000 questions 3000 questions read a lot of passages so do that so that part identifying whether it's a concept that need reinforcing or the speed that needs building that defines your preparation am i going to think about the proof for angle bisector theorem and do very basic thing or i'm going to do just 100 questions in quadratic equations and progression really quickly to ramp up my speed that decision you need to get a get a handle on right and the one thing first time as generally make a mistake with year after year after year is a number of mocks as someone who's seen this exam you'll have a clear idea of what this exam is about what is the level of difficulty what you can expect as far as the paper is concerned so start your mock series season very early so if you're a repeater start mocks early choose between what needs more reinforcing concept or fundamentals right the other type of analysis is if you if you're someone who's got 82 84 83 in the three sections and you need to ramp it up to 94 95 96 then your preparation is uniform but if you're someone who's got 97 94 and a 68 then that defines your preparation plan take your weakness area shut yourself off everything else and then say i'm going to convert this to my strength area suppose your quant is at 68 tell yourself you are preparing for cat quant not for cat it doesn't matter so forget about dilr and verbal they will fall in place you've seen this exam once you know what this is about so take your weakness area and then drill away you no know, learn from basics to a lot of practice you're going to basically tell yourself i'm weak in quant two months from now this is going to be my strongest suit then i look at cat overall again so there's an obvious gap section wise plug that pick to know whether your fundas are weak or your speed is low there's a there's a trade off there's there's got to be some analysis you need to know whether fundamentals are missing or you know everything but you're that little bit slower in solving so do some analysis to plug that relevant gap and take plenty of mocks take mocks from very early on mocks make a killer difference mocks help you identify you you get the overall picture from mocks for someone who's taking cat for the first time the overall picture can sometimes be intimidating but you've done the whole shebang once so you won't get uh, stressed out by a couple of mock scores so take mocks early and take mocks with a very high level of discipline take one every week or every fortnight stick to a nice realistic plan for for max best wishes for cat